हेलो एवरीवन इन दिस वीडियो वी विल डिस्कस अबाउट अ स्पेशल केस ऑफ हाइब्रिड इनहेरिटेंस दैट इज अ मल्टीपाथ इनहेरिटेंस अ ड्राइव क्लास विद टू बेस क्लासेस एंड दीज टू बेस क्लासेस हैव वन कॉमन बेस क्लास इज नोन एज मल्टीपाथ इनहेरिटेंस Ambiguity can arise in this type of inheritance. Let's see the code. Class A. In class A, having one public data member, int x. In class A is a base class, base class body, and with the closing curly braces. class b class b is a drive class and class b is drive from class a and class b also having one public data member int y and body of class b and with the closing curly braces and class c drive from class a and class c also having one public data member int z and class c body and with the closing curly braces then we have a class d and class d drive from class b and class c and class d also having one public data member m int m and class d body and with the closing curly braces this is a special case for hybrid inheritance hybrid inheritance is a combination of any two forms of inheritance right first of all we have one base class a and two drive classes are there b and c b is drive from a and c is also drive from a this is a case of hierarchical inheritance right a single base and two drive classes then class d drive from class b and c this is a case of multiple inheritance right single drive and two base the combination of any two forms of inheritance become a hybrid inheritance and inside the main function create the object of drive class d is the name of drive class and obj is the name of the object with the help of drive class object we can assess the data members of base class as well as drive class obj dot obj dot x is equal to 20 and obj dot x is equal to 30 class b drive from class a and class b having x and y class c drive from class a and class c having two data member x and z and when we drive class d 
from B and C. Then class D having Y, Z, M, and two copies of one from class B, another from class C. Right? That's why uh, we use x two times. Obj dot x is twenty. Then obj dot x is thirty. Then obj dot y is equal to twenty-three. Obj dot z is equal to twenty-four. And obj dot m is equal to twelve. And with the help of C out, we can display the values. C out obj dot x. Then C out obj dot x. C out obj dot y. C out obj dot Z and then finally C out OBJ dot M. Now run this code. After the execution of this code, there is an error. X is ambiguous. Now in this code, both class B. And class C inherits class A, and they both have a single copy of class A, right? And however, class D inherits both class B and C, and class D having two copies of class A, one from class B and another from class C. And if we need to assess the data members of class A through the object of class D, then we must specify the path from which A will be assessed, whether it is from class B or from class C, because compiler cannot differentiate between two copies of class A. In class D, right? There is an ambiguity in class D, and there are two way to avoid this ambiguity. The first way is avoiding ambiguity using the scope resolution operator, and the second way is avoiding ambiguity using the virtual base class. Using the scope resolution operator, we can manually specify the path from which data member X will be assessed. The syntax is object name dot the name of the class. Then scope resolution operator. Then name of the data member, right? O obj dot object name dot name of the class C scope resolution operator. Then name of the data member, and with equal to operator assign the values. Now run this code. Class D having two copies of X, one from class B, another from class C. Still, there are two copies of class A in class D. Right? The second way is avoiding this ambiguity using the virtual base class. 
what is virtual base class then two or more object are derived from a common base class and we can prevent multiple copies of the base class being present in an object derived from those object by declaring the base class as virtual then it is being inherited and such a base class is known as virtual base class and this can be achieved by preceding the virtual by preceding the base class name with the word virtual so class a is a virtual base class use virtual keyword class a is a virtual base class now class d has only one copy of class a right the second statement will overwrite the value of x given in first statement run this code right class d having a one copy of class a right statement 2 will overwrite the value of x given in statement 1 this is all about the multi path inheritance and ways to remove ambiguity from the inheritance